Okay, y'all, what's going on? We out here. I be saying we. I don't know who we is. I guess to be speaking French. Anyway, I'm going to try to get y'all turned to where I can. I'm going to try to get y'all. I don't know. I may have to. And then this old leg ain't about. This tripod ain't about a lot of that. Anyway, y'all, today I'm harvesting. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all so y'all can see good. I'm harvesting my cattle. This a woman up the street talking about all you bad bees. Baby, I don't know if she's singing or crazy. You know, y'all always comment on my neighbors and things. I understand to have these people. I don't even know. But anyway, I'm going to cut this callaloo and I'm going to talk to y'all. Sometimes y'all seem like y'all like that. When I talk to y'all, I'm going to try to do a thing and show y'all how to clean this young callaloo. This way I'm going to cut I'm going to cut off. It's still chimney. Big, but ooh, them stems seem timid. They seem timid like. Okay, let me go in here, and then I'm I'm gonna come in here and give y'all a close up of how I cut it. Okay, so I want to show y'all. Kelly grow a lot like poke. I've noticed it smell like poke too. I've never. Let me say this. This is my first year successfully growing the broadleaf Jamaican callaloo. Callaloo is amaranth for those of y'all that didn't know. But this is the one they grow in Jamaica. I've never grown it successfully. I bought seeds before and um, the last three or four years the bugs ate it up every single time they ate it up. So I want to show you it grows a lot like poke. It actually kind of looks like poke too. See how the stems are turning kind of pink on you? But you see how it new little suckers grow in those crotches so what i did was if you can see where i cut i cut there and you're gonna have more to come in so you want to be able to harvest again see what i'm saying see these here see so you're gonna have more to come on in oh uh, i'm trying to understand i see some new people over there so I got some I got some over here too. It's getting tall. I'm gonna cut it. And hopefully, hopefully y'all will be able to see. Let me back up some. Hopefully y'all can see. I ain't got this thing angled right, but we're gonna do what we can do. There we go. So this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be real nice. And then I got some other amaranth. I wanna show y'all. This is the regular amaranth, okay? Now, this is Kalalu. This is the regular amaranth. That's regular amaranth. This right here is regular amaranth. See, look at the leaves. Then look at the leaves here. You see what I'm saying? It's a little different. The leaves get much bigger on that uh, Jamaican variety, okay? Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these down kind of far. And hopefully they will uh, I'm going to leave these for right now. I got two more Jamaican Callaloo I'm going to cut. These stems, I can tell by when I cut them, they're very tender. Very tender. Very tender. Okay, y'all, those are the last of the amaranth. It's getting ready to sprinkle on my head. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set y'all up over here. And then I'm going to come try to talk to y'all. This leg, I don't even understand. Oh, yeah, because it's broke. I forgot about that. 
Okay, I'll be right back, y'all. Y'all don't go nowhere. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Lord, I'm back. You can't never tell what this weather gonna do. You know what? Let me see something. Let me see something. I'm gonna flip y'all around. <laughs> How you like that? Oh. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna try my best to show y'all how to do with this cattle loop. So. You have to come here with your knife. Can y'all? Oh, y'all can see good. And I can see good. So you come here, you want, you got to cut in just a little bit and peel it off. Now, I'm not going to use all of that, all of that stem. I ain't going to use all of that. Okay. And uh, the reason why you're doing this is Callaloo, just like, um, it's something else you got to peel like this. Uh, the pumpkin leaves, the, the, the squash and the pumpkin leaves. You got to peel that stuff too. If you don't peel it, that stringiness, that this on the outside, these strings, uh -uh. I'm telling you, nah, that stuff, that stuff is, uh, Y'all, this smells just like pork, like peripheral. So those around here talk about. But you know, it, it, it makes sense though. But then I'm gonna say like these strings, that stem, that stem will be tough. This ain't the Jamaican Callaloo. So this, this is the regular amaranth. Y'all, and what I'm gonna do is, cause I'm noticing something. That whole stem, these stems are much tougher much tougher much more fibrous um and i ain't talking about just the skin part like the inside feels fibrous so i'm not gonna fool with that but i will demonstrate again this is a this is a regular amaranth still but you see how you have to peel but i ain't gonna lie even once you peel this the inside of that well it's not it's not too too bad but that sucker seemed tough to me I mean, and you want to be able to eat this stem, so you got to get this fibrous. Yeah, that's tough. I ain't fooling with that. I ain't fooling with that. That's tough. Okay, I'm gonna get some of this off. Do it have it on this part too, which I might could. I make a cut these stems, cut these stems off of these leaves. But yeah, so see this, and this is what tickles me about people. People want to sit up here and talk about uh, you know uh, uh, black folk is just Native Americans and blah blah blah. Now y'all got to start looking at some things and paying attention to some things. I'm not saying that black people don't didn't mix with Native Americans. Of course we did. Uh, but y'all got to stop with the stupid stuff. If you look at food pathways and different things like that, if you notice in any culture that has had any type of colonialization or anything, then use black people as labor historically, you will find food pathways that are the same. Peep game now, empanadas. Y'all know they got empanadas in a whole lot of cultures. Y'all let y'all let people gain. Or just like doing this here, peeling this here. This is the same way the Africans peel the pumpkin leaves and stems and stuff in Africa. The same 
this stuff be the same over and over and over again. And y'all constantly want to say we part of a culture that don't do none of that stuff. Um, I guess I don't never understand why you just scared to say you black. Because that's what it boils down to. Me. One of these days, y'all will just be okay with being black. You'll be okay with understanding they picked us for a reason. We was the strongest, the smartest, and knew how to do. That's why they picked us. And I'm not saying other cultures didn't know how to do. But they can. you can read in their writings, historical writings, where they write and, and were at all when they got to Africa and seen all of what was being done. When they seen civilization, because of course they naturally thought they created civilization, the lies. The lies. But you know, when you brainwash a, a culture and you don't teach them their history and don't teach them nothing about themselves, like I said, it's this plan. Do not sit up and think it's not. It's very much so planned. Let me see, I'm going to cut that part spot out. But uh, anyway, that ain't really what I wanted to talk to y'all about. So I wanted to ask y'all this. And I also want to give a caution. If I have anybody watching my channel that is a new gardener, you haven't been gardening for very long, I want to caution you. Ooh, that's so tender. That's so much more tender than that regular amaranth. I see why people in the islands fool with this. This is tender. I mean, even though that stem, big as it is, it's just as tender. I mean tender. Anyway, y'all have to excuse me. I'm in awe. Like I said, I've been trying to grow this for so many years and just the bugs. Um, did tear me up every single time. It, it, it just never failed. I was never able to really just do how I wanted when it comes to the calla loop. But anyway newbie gardeners y'all be careful in these youtube streets and, and i hate to say this but it really is a lot of people out here they don't care no more about if you garden than a man in the moon y'all don't understand how many videos i look at and me and my friend be on the phone talking and she said all the time somebody will ask the question in the video and i'll see people in the comments who are seasoned gardeners Claim they all for the gardening community. Y'all didn't even try to answer that person's question. You didn't try to answer nothing. You put down there in the... Because, see, I'm on to y'all. Y'all be commenting some of y'all so that you can garner more people to your channel. You know what I'm saying? Because if a person is no... If a person is nosy, they'll click on your stuff and say, oh, they got a channel. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't really care nothing about helping these people. You want them to struggle. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest and say, if I see a video, you know, if I don't have anything positive or a comment or something funny to me or whatever, I usually don't say nothing. Or if you don't have, like, if you have a question that you need answered, I'm going to answer that question. If I have the answer. If I don't have the answer, I'm going to be quiet. Um, it really just kind of bothers me that so many people. Y'all ain't really trying to help nobody. Y'all just on YouTube trying to get famous. Okay, well do a blog channel. Because you with this misleading information. Or you, you know, people ask you questions you ain't really answering. Or sometimes if you don't know the answer, be honest and say, I don't know. You know. People ask me stuff all the time. I say, I don't know. Like, I don't know everything. Hell. You know what I'm saying? I know sometimes it may seem that way. But I don't. I don't know everything. I'm human like everybody else. I'm learning every day like everybody else. That's why I try to um, encourage you all to try to, you know, learn. Y'all see? See all this what I'm getting on? So, yeah. I try. See, look out there. See, you want all that off of there. Because that's going to be fine, bros. 
I'm telling you, y'all, them stems, because this knife ain't even that sharp, y'all. This knife is okay, but it's not really that sharp. Um, and I'm probably going to end up cutting these long stems off. I don't know. They're tender, too, though. I can't see why I would cut them off. If I get all the strings off, I can't see why. But, yeah, y'all, uh, newbie people on YouTube and what have you, just be careful, because uh, some of these folks, they really ought to be shaming themselves, to be honest with you. If, if truth, truth be told, they ought to be shaming themselves. Because, like I said, I see people, they ain't trying to help you. They just trying to, you know, they're not being honest. They just on here just trying to get clicks and be seen. You know, some of these people were unpopular in high school, which I'm not saying I was popular because I wasn't. Because I said what I wanted, when I wanted, how I wanted. People didn't like that. They still don't like it. Get over it. Anyway, um, but you know, my mama just told me, you know, you, you can't please people. Jesus tried to please people. Look what they did to Jesus. So, you know, that ought to stop you right there. Um, I should say Jesus tried to please people. Jesus was trying to heal the people. Look how they did Jesus. Y'all tell you something about the human race. I'll tell you something. So, that said, uh, y'all just be careful because these people be out here in these YouTube streets. And in my opinion, they're praying on people. Uh, just you getting clicks and you, you don't really care about nothing or nobody. It's just pitiful. And then something else, I'm stupid. Something else I want to caution you all about. When y'all, when you all are watching Gardeners, once again, be careful. I'm going to ask y'all, common sense, just use your common sense on this. If you see somebody gardening, and you may like their personality, you may like them or whatever, that's fine. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about them personally. If you see them gardening, and they garden more, more often than not looks a mess, should you really be taking a lot of advice from them? If a person been married nine times and they on their way to their ninth divorce, should you be listening at them about marriage? They may be hell on wheels and whatever else they do. But I will caution you about listening at them about marriage topics. If they if they've been married nine times and they on their way to their ninth divorce. I would caution you. Do y'all see the point I'm 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 making? Y'all see what I'm getting at? I'm not saying that my garden is perfect, it's not. And I show y'all. I show y'all when I kill stuff. I show y'all when the bugs eat up stuff. I I ain't shame. It is what it is. I'm trying to show people because I'm gonna tell you why the why the misinformation and disinformation pisses me off. Number one, right now, especially, we live in a time where misinformation, disinformation. The schools have done a horrible time teaching. They don't teach nothing. Then you have a dumb populace when your populace is overwhelmingly stupid. Then, to compound that, the teachers ain't, the, the parents not teaching anything at home. Cause they don't know anything because if you're in my generation you come up and you didn't learn nothing so what do you have to teach and then you're not seeking out any information so what i'm saying is a dumb population is an easy population to control when the population is stupid these political leaders and everybody else can rich people whatever can get over on you hey how you doing these political these political leaders can get over on you do and say anything and you at their mercy. And you go along with it because you ain't got sense enough to know. 
these people sit up and lie to folks and people so stupid they don't even realize it's a lie because they don't understand that oh that wait a minute that ain't how that works you know what i'm saying so i'm saying i'll let you say arm yourself with some knowledge and if these people are not knowledgeable about what they're doing they have no business disseminating any information to anybody i done seen so many people and i just look they go and burnt to a crisp and they said it's enough giving out information what are you giving information on? How to burn up a garden? You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes just be real. I'm supposed to be doing this and supposed to be, because that's what I really want. Now, I'm not talking about the people who are honest. The people who are honest and say, okay, well, yeah, you know, I done neglected this. Because some people is honest and I said, hell, I've done it. I neglected my figs back there. Y'all saw the leaves, how they come out? And what did I tell you? Don't do like me. Don't do like me. That ain't the way you supposed to do that. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, that's why I try to tell y'all. I just, just Simpsons. See that? They got holes in it. The birds got two of the little bit, but doggone it, my plants got big this year. All these other years, I couldn't even hardly get my plants. I couldn't get them to do nothing. But, uh, yeah, y'all, that's why I say I, I can't with these people. So, newbies, I'm telling you right now, pay attention to a person. Now, if you just watching them just to follow their progress, because some people, that's what I be doing. I be watching them to follow their progress. And you may learn something. But don't hang your head on their advice if they go and just forever burn up, forever dead. Or they, they show stuff and then they never show it again. I done seen that so much. I want to impress upon y'all again how much this smell like poke. I wonder if it going to taste like poke. Is that why Jamaicans like it so much? Oh, if this end up tasting like poke. Y'all, let me be honest. Now, you know I'm tripping. I have had uh, Callaloo. Lord, who calls he in? Jesus, here we go. This is my neighbors here every time. Uh, I have had Callaloo in Jamaican restaurants. And now that I think about it, I'm not going to say it tastes exactly like pork because it's cooked differently and it's different seasoning. But I see the similarities. I see it. I see it. And you know, when this came up, when the stem started kind of turning pink on me, I kind of thought it was pork at first. Then I said, no, that ain't, that ain't pork. It's something, but that ain't that something? That's that's what I was getting was telling y'all earlier about these food pathways, bro. Black folks the world over eat the same stuff. If you think I'm lying, look at African cooking. They eat green with smoked meats in them. Don't matter if it's fish. Oh, uh, ooh, that cow skin. Ooh. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap my head around now. But anyway, with the smoked meats in it, in Jamaica, they eat the green. Now, now they ain't put no smoked meats on them, but they sure will jerk some chicken, and we'll, we'll make that jerk chicken taste real good. Not only the seed and the smoke from that grill, you can look at the, just all over, the Caribbean, Africa, America, we eat greens. The, th the only difference is the plant, and that's because we just use what we had access to. But these people want to keep trying to deny you and tell you that black folks ain't African. Y'all stupid. I'm not trying to be with you stupid. Like, and the only way that works is you never taught history to begin with. So when you never teach history to begin with, these kids are so stupid, they believe that stuff. Not only killed children, grown folks who went to college, and the only thing you taught was George Washington. Now, if you started teaching that George Washington was Native Americans, they wouldn't bit more believe that because that's all they taught in school. All you want to teach is these white cultures. And the only thing you really teach about the Native Americans 
is how 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 the how the Europeans came here and ne damn near killed them off. And you really don't tell it like that. That's the way y'all to teach it. The, the uh, Europeans came here with their smallpox and all that mess and nearly killed all the Indians off, nearly. And then the Trail of Tears finished them off. You see what I'm saying? The people, they're not telling that. They're not telling those portions of the stuff. They're not telling it. That's what I'm saying. History is so important because when you don't teach it, you have a gullible population who will believe anything. They done found slave ships and they're still around here talking about we ain't. Do you know how many millions of slaves came to this side of the world? Not just America. More of them went to the Caribbean than anywhere else. And they, they, matter of fact, they had so many in the Caribbean, they restocked the American population with some more from the Caribbean. How y'all think? How y'all think all them peppers and rice and stuff in South Carolina when they was getting Africans from Sierra Leone, people that had been growing rice for I don't know how long. And let, me, and let me be clear and say this. When I say they was getting them from Sierra Leone, that's not exactly what I mean. A lot of these slaves were prisoners of war. African nations warred, tribes rather, warred against each other as well. There's historical uh, evidence of that as well. And when they would take prisoners of war, those prisoners of war oftentimes would be sold off. Now, for my viewers, if I got any ignorant ones that want to say, well, that's your own fault, let me explain something to you. Just because you was a prisoner of war in Africa does not mean you were treated like how they decided to treat slaves here. Just because they sell crack doesn't mean purchase it. See what I'm saying? Just because they sell crack does not mean for you to purchase it. That's first of all. Second of all, the type of slavery that was perpetuated in the Americas was created. Solely slavery anywhere else was not the same. It wasn't the same. You were not treated less than an animal. That's the mess they created up. You get what I'm saying? So that being said, because I don't, I don't want nobody to people get in my comments and start with that foolishness. You will get schooled because I'm not the one. I'm going to ask y'all this question too. Do y'all think the only thing I know is the garden? Because sometimes people try to try me on my intelligence. Y'all think the only thing I know is the garden? Y'all think that's the only thing I read and think about and do? And Is that what y'all? Okay, I'm going to make sure y'all know now because I know more than, I know quite a few topics. I'm, I'm going to give you a heads up. By trade, I'm a financial advisor. Anybody that knows anything about anything knows that if you do not build a rapport with your clients and you're in the financial sector, you will not gain their business. What do I mean? Any of y'all, y'all just answer to the screen. If you're talking to somebody about your money, investing your money and investing in your future, are you going to do business with somebody who you don't trust or you don't have a good rapport with? No. But see, here's the difference. I have to make a rapport real quick. I only have about five or ten minutes to gain some trust from you. Enough trust to fool with your money. The more money, the more trust I got to have. Why am I saying all this? I have to know about a wide range of topics because you never know what might interest somebody. So if I know a little something about that and it interests them, oh, she knows about X, Y, Z. She understands. She gets it. I'm, I'm, I'm building trust. I'm building a rapport. Therefore, I can get a client. And I'm not doing it just like superficially, like, oh, then, no, I, you know, I care about people. But it's, it's a double-edged sword. I have to get my money. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to do right by the client. You know, for a lot of reasons. Morally, ethically, I'm going to do right. But um, also, licensure-wise, a lot of people don't understand there's a lot of rules, regulations in the financial sector. It's a lot of things you can't be out here just willy-nilly doing. Unless you want to go to jail. Ask Martha Stewart. Now, um... So, y'all be careful now, because sometimes I think y'all think that when y'all see somebody doing something, y'all think that's the only something they know how to do. 
are the only something they know about. Not, not. And then we won't even add to. Every day I'm learning. Every day I'm pressing, pressing myself to learn something. You get what I'm saying? Um. So you know, you should be on a quest to learn. Um. Because everybody can learn. I don't care what these people tell you. These people tell you these crazy things. Oh, they, they say I was growing up, I was stupid. Or this, this, that, and the other. Just craziness. Just foolishness. But, uh, yeah, it's just so much going on. I have seen so many different things. I also want to mention this. Y'all. Excuse me. Excuse me, I had sneeze. Y'all know it's people out here actually, and, and to me, this is an out and out con. Y'all know it's people actually out here doing seminars and different things. And they don't really know how to garden. You tell me how that make any sense. And I want somebody to try to explain to me what is that about. You out here doing seminar and your garden is not not even close. Like real talk, relatively simple things, you struggling to grow. And and I ain't talking about free seminar, pay. Hey, seminars. Y'all know people doing that? Let me tell you something. I grew up in a day and time and day and time when Miss Cleo was on television. You know, call me now. <sighs> Let me say this. Even as a child, I knew Miss Cleo was a scam. I knew Miss Cleo was a scam. Them people were calling in. They were calling in. I don't know how much money that... You know some movie coming up out of her? I don't know how much money that woman made. But that woman made a plenty of money scamming. And she wasn't the only one. Them California psychics right now scamming. Y'all gonna call into that mess and see what happened. <laughs> see, my allergies cutting up the rain from getting ready to roll in. Ugh. But the day and age when I tell you to where people have gotten to the point where social media has become the new scam. I can tell you anything, do anything, you know, all these child. And it's just, it's really too much. Hold on. Child, you have to, you have to evacuate your sinus cavities. But child, really though, it's people out here really, like really low down to the flow scamming people. And they don't feel no kind of way about it. And this be the killing part. I wonder who gave them these ideas to, uh, you know, try to do a seminar. And they can't grow the simplest of things. And here's the thing. Maybe you get busy and you get sidetracked or whatever happens. And, you know, y'all, I don't know what it is. I just, there's no way. I, I guess the best thing I'm trying to tell you, and I know this video long, but I'm almost through because I'm almost through doing this. And I, like I said, I did want to show y'all. It is holes in this. Um... You all that squeamish about eating things that a bug been eating on. If the bug want it, I want it. Uh, it's not too bad. You know what I'm saying? Now, the years when I couldn't, it was, ooh, y'all, it was like, I mean, they ate the whole plant down before we could even get established good. So, when I tell you it's all this what I done got, I will take it. But, y'all. I know sometimes you get busy, sometimes things happen, sometimes, but some, come on now, some of these folks, 
they've been gardening too long. They got too big a following. It's just like, like, come on. And you giving seminars, charging people. You charging people. You got to be kidding me. So, you know, new gardeners, y'all just be careful out here in these streets because... You know, like I was telling my friend the other day, I never know why somebody's gardening. I don't know if it's because they want to provide healthy foods for their kids, if they want to provide healthy foods for themselves. Hell, some of these people have health issues that they're trying to regulate and mitigate. And the idea that you have people out here preying on those people. And those people, you know need the information or need accurate information and you just out here just getting these people money and just doing whatever it's just it's, it's crazy to me and i don't understand it and i also think i quite frankly it's trifling in my opinion it's trifling just trifling. You can't tell me no different. It's trifling. And you're not going to tell me no different that it ain't trifling. So, it's like, but, like I said, if you're doing these gardening streets, just be careful who you watch. And if you watch them, just know why you watch them. Like I said, I watch some people, they ain't the best gardeners, but hell, I'm watching them. Either I'm watching their progress or, and some of the people that I watch also follow me. And I try to help them. If, if I can help them, if I can't help you, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to laugh with you and, and, and kiki with you, but that is what. But then I also have those that I know that, oh, they're going to be good for a word. They're going to teach me something. I'm going to learn something. You know, something like that. So just know what you're watching, why. You get what I'm saying? And also be able to put things in perspective. Just because, like for instance, some of these people I watch, their gardens ain't the best. But I'm watching them because they funny or whatever. I just won't take. It depends on what the advice is. I'm going I'm, I'm to be objective. I'm going to be objective. Because the person telling me X, Y, Z, telling me, oh, yeah, you must water. And then when they go outside, it's dry as a cracker factory. And now everything burning up. I'm not finna. You don't know when to water. Or either you refuse to water. So I'm going to let that go in one ear and out the other. No judgment, no nothing. But it's just it's going to be what it's going to be. Uh, so I'm just saying, if you new out here, just pay attention to that. Also pay attention to people who only show you the good stuff and never show you like, oh, everything's perfect. Gardening ain't going to be that way. You're setting yourself up for failure. You're setting yourself up for failure. If you think gardening is always going to be peachy keen and ain't nothing going to go wrong and you're going to get it on the first try, you're a lot. It's the third, fourth year with this Kalaloo. I finally got it. Finally. You know what I'm saying? I finally was able to. That's why this year I kind of been talking to y'all a lot about pest pressure. That was the key to that Kalaloo. Had to keep pest pressure low enough until the plants get big enough. Once the plants get big, because I ain't going to lie, once the plants start getting big, they grow fast. Kalaloo grow like weeds. Now, I love the way the plant grow. Um, so, but anyway, thanks for coming along with me, y'all. This is one of the longest videos I've done in a long time. I'm almost at 40 minutes. Um, I got a whole five-gallon bucket full of Kalaloo all cleaned up. This is all of the crap that came off, all that fibrous stuff. Uh, I'm probably going to actually go mulch some of my plants with this. I'm going to go put it at the base of my plants and mulch with it. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you're here to the end, do me a favor and uh, put Callaloo in the comments. Put Callaloo at, in, the, in the comments. But let me know you made it to the end and I appreciate y'all watching. Till next time, see you guys later.